Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I created these beautiful digital imitations in Canva. Now even though I've already pre-made these, I'm going to start from scratch uh, and show you how I did it. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to hit on create a design. Now for a, an imitation, a digital imitation, you want to make sure that it's 1080 by 1920 and the best option for that one is this right here, Instagram story. And then the next thing you want to do is uh, go over to elements. And before I even do that, I want to say that I'm using a pro account. Now, if you're um, creating this digital imitation for yourself and you have a pro, then you can use the pro elements. But if you are creating this uh, imitation in order to sell on Etsy or your own personal website, then you want to make sure that you're using free elements. And the reason for that is because once your customers uh, get your link to the imitation um, you don't want them to have to pay when they go to download any changes that they've made to the um, to the imitation so just keep that in mind whether or not you're doing this for selling purposes or for your own purposes uh, for this video uh, I am going to use the pro elements because I'm I'm not selling this I'm just doing the tutorial okay so again, the first thing is uh, once I've got my page added, I want to go over and let's pick a color. So I'm going to start out and just, like I said, maybe do the maroon color that I had. And you can choose any color that you want, but I'm just going to stick with that one. And then the next thing is I want to go to um, a frame. So since we're doing um, graduation invitations, you want to have some picture frames. So you just type in, type in photo frame. And then you have plenty of options to choose from. For the one that I uh, I designed, I used a gold frame. So I'm gonna go back and just show you the specific one that I use. It's right here, and this is the gradient gold 16 by nine frame. Just start playing around with how you wanna position it. I'm resizing it. You wanna resize it at the corner over here instead of resizing it right there because then it'll disappear. So just resize it on this right hand corner. That way you don't lose the actual gold frame. Okay. And again, just you want to move it around um, like I have in this example, however you want it on the actual page. And so now in order to get um, the elements up here, these are text boxes. So you're just going to go over to text, type in add a text box, and then move it on the page how you want it. You can change the font as well as the font size. So for this one up here, I went with uh, Montserrat for class of, and then I use a uh, Yaseva 1 for the numbers and then I went with like a cursive type script I think it was Brittany for the uh, the very the D on this one all right and then again you'll move everything around the way that you actually want it to look and then to get the tassel again we go to elements You'll type in a uh, tassel. And I wanted a gold tassel. And then once you do that, it'll bring up some options. 
and then I went with this one that was in the photo so now you don't want this black background that you see so you want to go up and if you have the pro account you can hit background remover or if you don't have pro then you'll just want to go and see what free elements they have as far as a tassel now that I have the background removed I'm going to resize this and put it up at the top and if I don't want to resize it if I want to keep it that size I just place it where I need it and since the background is removed it won't show up on the actual imitation so I can place that there all right so um, the next thing you want to do is I'm going to add uh, these other text items so again it's just elements I'm sorry it's just text box make sure you're on the right page hit add text and then you can put you know the graduate and then a space for the graduate name and high school and for this uh, again Montserrat uh, 33.2 and I kept that same type of font throughout on this portion. So for the sake of time, I'm just gonna copy. And to add a line, you can um, type in line uh, in your search menu once you're in elements, or you can just hit L on your keyboard. And once you hit L, it'll show um, an automatic line for you so just a shortcut so I clicked L got my line I want to change the color so go up to line color and I'm going to choose the gold that's already there instead of searching for it I'm just going to do the eyedropper and hover over that there you go and it selected the exact color I was looking for all right so that looks pretty close so now the next thing uh, I'm gonna do the same thing these are just text boxes so I'm going to copy all this and add it to the bottom and then once it's grouped like that you can just move the whole thing around the way that you want now comes the fun part of adding your pictures um, and for this I just use some stock photo so the first thing you want to do is go back up to elements you want to click in uh, photo frame I'm sorry uh, yeah I think it was photo frame there we go and then it's going to give you all these options here you can do you know square circle all of that so you'll want to choose one of those again I'm gonna go back to what I used under my recent designs all right and I selected this one so you just want to align it inside of your gold frame like that I'm gonna duplicate it click this plus sign then I can move it to this square at the bottom resize it duplicate it again and put one more up top can put in your photo and again I'm using a stock image and for that I'm going to element and type in photos and even type in graduate there we go and then you can 
can see all and put in any type of photo that you want these are all free images again and the ones with the crown are the pro so I chose let's go down towards the bottom get the photo that I have I just chose this nice photo here and then once you have it you want to hover over the frame and then it'll automatically insert it right there so I chose that there that there and then I just did one more there now you see how her um, the top is cut off you can move the photo double click uh, with your left mouse and then once this pl the plus arrows show up you can move the actual photo so I can move it like this to show more of her cap there we go alright and let's see now for example the way that I have it up on this version you see I have her this photo right here it covers more uh, inside of this frame right here to do that that is going to be part of your layering so let's just make this one a little bit bigger and I'll show you what I mean so if this is covering that now but you're like wait a minute something something's wrong so what you'll do is on the frame once it's clicked you want to right click on your mouse click layer and then you want to bring it to the front now you see how now this photo frame is on top of the other one okay now that everything is uh, resized and I have my frames and I have my pictures added now it's time to add a few more elements uh, such as the gold stars and the um, gold flakes that you see here in order to get that again you go back to elements and then you can type in gold star and gold glitter all right and then it'll pull up some options for you there and then I'll show you what the gold glitter looks like So I will go and show you the one that I selected. I chose this right over here. So I did like some gold. There we go. I just add it to the bottom and then we're going to again right click and click layer and send it to the back that way it's not covering up the picture same thing with the gold star we can add that to the frame just put it over to the side and right click layer send it to the back again you can add as much or as little as you like put it on the page and there you have it so I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to give me a thumbs up if you found this helpful um, and subscribe see you in the next video